Hey guys, we were in the market for a new display on our 2010 8R tractor. We ended up purchasing a brand new John Deere Gen 5 Universal display in December of 2023. The main buying point at the time was the ability to obtain a permanent section control license as this is the tractor we use for planting. All of the reviews I see on YouTube are from John Deere or implement dealers and are typically on the Gen 5 plus model. So I figured that I would provide my feedback after using this display for a season. The display came without any software and this was useless out of the box. As you can see here, I installed via a USB flash drive as this display doesn't come with a JD-Link modem. This is something that makes me wonder, who designed this tablet? All tablets sold today, retail, have built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. And these displays are basically an overpriced tablet. If I'm going to pay over $5,000 for a display, the least John Deere could do would be to include built-in Wi-Fi. It's a crappy design or engineering by John Deere, in my opinion. Also, for whatever reason, the GPS offsets were not working properly at the beginning. Please ensure that you review your implement and tractor offsets. Even if they look like the correct settings, I suggest changing the distance to the work point to something maybe two or three times larger. Save that outrageous change, then switch it back to the actual correct distance setting. Maybe it was my unit or the initial setup, but the section control shutoff on the headlands was almost off by 10 feet the first year due to this glitch. And that didn't seem to recognize the setting properly. Making a drastic change to the system, then reverting it back seemed to correct the issue. Besides all of this, the software installation took about 15 minutes in total. After installation, I came across the same blank main screen with no access to my run pages or icons on the shortcut bar. The menu would also show some icons, but not many. Additionally, my run pages, field data, and other settings were not accessible. The licenses were available and all the software appeared in the system. It was a little frustrating after the after the initial install and took me a while to figure out why I wasn't able to access most of the programs that I had just loaded. So after walking away that day, I came back with an idea from past software installs. I realized that I needed to change the primary display from the smaller armrest screen to this universal display. Thus, what you want to do is you would want to go to the menu and go to the system applications and hit the display and sound icon. From there, hit the edit button at the bottom of the screen and change the primary display to be the universal display. Accept the changes by tapping OK and then saving the settings. Since I had already made these changes, I didn't need to save the changes. Voila! The shortcut bar, run pages, and other data instantly became available. All right, skipping forward, I found a couple more things while I was planning in spring. Within the section control settings, make sure your overlap settings are correct. Also make sure the internal and external boundaries are to, to your liking, as it may shut off your implement if you are slightly outside of a boundary. A neat feature which wasn't available on my Gen 4 display is the manual section control shown here. I can use this to shut off a certain row grouping for tram lines if I double back to plant 15 inch rows from our 30 inch row planter. The setup seemed fairly straightforward, however I wasn't able to make it work when planting soybeans. Don't know if it was an error on my part or if the software was having a glitch. So John Deere website denotes a 10.4 inch screen for the Gen 4 universal display versus a 10.1 inch screen for the Gen 5. I measured a 6.1 inch height by 8.25 inch width on the Gen 4 compared to a an almost 5 inch height and an 8.5 inch width on the Gen 5. All Gen 5 displays have the same computing power, which is stated three times faster. However, our Gen 5 booted up from a standby and cold start, not much faster than the Gen 4. The faster computing does allow for additional capabilities via automation, section control, or other features. Overall, Gen 5 is a decent upgrade, but I don't know if it would have been better if I would just bought a used Gen 4 and kept paying for section control. Thanks, guys, for your questions in the comments. Bye.